look at that glow! Okay, I know it's been a long ass time since I put up a video. I went and visited my parents in Vegas and basically just took like a week and a half off. But I'm back, back in action. I'm ready for fall. So ready that I have like my fall candles. I've got Halloween decorations up. Like I'm in the full fall spirit. So today is gonna be a try new makeup video. I have quite a few things I've accumulated that I'm really, really excited to show you on camera. And today's video is in partnership with Ana Luisa Jewelry. Ana Luisa just turned five, guys. I've been working with Ana Luisa pretty damn close to the very beginning of when they even started. I'm gonna get into the pieces in just a second, but I have to say I still have so many pieces from years and years ago when I first started with Ana Luisa, and they still look so great. As long as you keep taking care of those pieces, they are going to last you. And on top of the jewelry being absolutely gorgeous, you can feel good about it because it is earth friendly. It is sustainable. And I do have a code for Ana Luisa that will get you 20% off. So if you put in Kate20 at checkout, you will get 20% off on your purchase. This is all about the rings in this video because usually I get like earrings or necklaces from Ana Luisa, but this time I like went crazy and I got three rings and I'm absolutely in love with them all. I do want to start out saying, this piece right here I featured in my last video I did with Ana Luisa. This is the pebble necklace. This continues to be, I think, my favorite piece that I've ever gotten from Ana Luisa. It just adds so much beauty and elegance to anything I wear. I get compliments on this necklace all the time. So the first thing I wanna talk about is this really beautiful, simple textured gold stacking ring. So this is called the Rope Slim and I have it in gold. I love stacking rings, but I think this also looks really beautiful on its own. And I adore the design of this. It's a little bit more slim in the back and it's thicker in front. The next piece I'm moving on to is the Michelle Signet. And I have to say, I have been eyeing this baby ever since it came out. I just think it is eye popping. It does have a malachite stone and the rest of the ring is dipped in 14 karat gold. This ring does run a little, just a tiny bit smaller than the ring I'm about to move on to. So I kind of wanna get this in a bigger size as well, just so I can wear it on like my index finger or my thumb. And this is another malachite ring. This is called the Lennon Malachite. Malachite. This actually comes in some different shades and they're all stunning. I went with green, but I also kind of want to get the blue shade as well. If you guys watch my channel, you know I'm a huge ring person. I'm pretty much never without some rings on my fingers and all three of these work so beautifully together. I'm absolutely in love with these. And as always, all of these pieces are going to be linked down below in the description box along with that Ana Luisa 20% off code. Okay, so let's get into the trying to make a portion of the video. So many great things to play with. I have a new eyeshadow from Gen Z. I have brand new blush from Salt New York. I have the Jones Road lip liners. And I'm going to be using, along with those lip liners, my current favorite new lip product, which are the Say Glossy Bounce lip glosses. I am drinking a refreshing Sauvignon Blanc. This is just my go-to Matua Sauvignon Blanc. Can't stop, won't stop going in with my In Beauty Face Glaze as my primer. Getting to the very bottom of this tube, like literally squeezing out what's left. You just always have to take a moment for the face glaze. Like, look, look at that. I like to show you my full makeup routine when I'm doing a trying new makeup video, because as always, I feel like it really makes a difference. It makes a difference what products you're using in conjunction with other products. Look at how used and abused this is. This is the Say uh, Hydro Bounce Foundation. Going back to the subject of fall, I have broken out the fall ambiance channels. I know I've talked about ambiance channels before, but if you do not know what I'm talking about, you need to run do not walk because ambiance channels are like my favorite thing. They provide so much ambiance and especially like in my little apartment here like having some beautiful sort of fall scene on our tv is just so freaking cozy with my candles going okay so i'm gonna use the Colfi concealer and this is technically new because i had it a while back and their lightest shade that they had at the time was just too deep for me so i gave that to my friend chase and they actually came out with uh some lighter shades so i went ahead and got the shade Bad Badam. And this is just a really beautiful creamy concealer. This and the Tower 28 
And my Glossier Stretch Concealer are definitely what I've been gravitating toward in terms of concealers. And that is just a dead on shade match. Like, kind of killed that. Oh, I always like to mention in my video, if you're new here to my channel, I am an exclusively pro-choice influencer, which means that I only feature brands that are loudly and proudly pro-choice, brands that have been very loud about their support of abortion rights. If you want to find out more information on that, including my pro-choice beauty brand list, you can head over to Instagram. I have it posted there. It's always a pinned post. And of course, as always, everything I'm using here today is pro-choice. This reminds me of the Kosas Revealer Concealer, and that was my go-to concealer before I went totally pro-choice. Kosas is not a pro-choice brand, and I'm so, so happy I found this for that reason. So for bronzer, I'm gonna go in with this cream blush. This is the Gen C uh, Cheek and Lip Color in the shade Coconut. This is a gamble because I haven't used this before, but I was really excited to try this shade because it looked like a really beautiful bronzer. God, look at that. Wow, 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 wow. Gen C is one of those brands that I feel like people are sleeping on. Like I have been so incredibly impressed with the products from Gen C and this is no, it's no exception. I'm gonna put just a little bit on my nose and on my chin because we love that sun-kissed look. This is another Gen C product. This is their arch support, and it is a very deep shade of brown, which I'm really digging for myself lately. I do use like the lightest of hands with this shade just because it is so pigmented. I don't need to go ham, but I do feel like it gives me the most beautiful, bold, deep brows. Okay, so I let the brows set for a second and I'm gonna go in with a second product. This is sort of my dynamic duo. I'm going in with the Jones Road Clear Brow Gel. Guys, this is a fantastic brow gel. I love the hold on this. I love the control I have with this product. I really love the brush. It's nice and kind of big compared to the other brow gels I use. And I just feel like this gives me really, like I said, really nice control. And I like to go in with this afterward because I feel like it makes everything look really natural and just polishes things up. And there you have the brows. I have to say they turned out very well today. Okay, so I'm going in with a one and done eyeshadow. Guys, this is a shade after my own heart. This is from Gen C, and this is a metallic liquid eyeshadow in the shade First Light. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this for you so you can see, like what the hell? That's what it looks like on my finger. I'm just gonna tap that onto my lid with my finger. This is such an easy eyeshadow product. It's like a perfect combination between like champagne and just a tiny bit of bronziness. I'm gonna take my Elia Soft Focus Powder. This is my go-to powder right now. Dip this giant Jones Road brush in here. I love this for a powder brush so much. Okay, perfect. So everything is nice and set. You see it gives my skin like a really nice little blur, but doesn't take away that beautiful dewiness of the other products. Now I'm gonna curl my lurches and I'm gonna go in with my Elia mascara. This is such a fantastic mascara for getting every nook and crayon. And since I'm not doing liner today, I am gonna do my lower lashes just for a little extra something something. Okay, those lashes are killing it and I don't know why I forget about this mascara. Why is that? This is so good. It's so buildable. I have so much control with this wand. Okay, I'm adding this back into my favorites. I haven't even opened these. These are two brand new shades of cream blush from Salt New York. Oh my god, this is sparkling peach. What? the hell that looks like a beautiful candy oh my god this shade is called toasted coconut so since i'm a little bronzy already i'm going to focus on the shade sparkling peach but i'm going to swatch both of these god i'm going to love this i can already tell so that is sparkling peach and this is toasted coconut but like i said we're gonna use this today we're using sparkling peach Oh my God, look at that glow. What? Honest to God, like what the hell? What is even, wh I, what is even going on? You guys know like one of my favorite blush colors is peach. And look at that like 
little bit of iridescence there. Do you see that? You can even sort of see it in the pan. Oh my God, Kiki, what have you done? This is stunning. And it does have that little bit of pinkiness to it, a little bit of a peachy pinky situation. That is just my go-to. Pulling out the new Jones Road lip liners and I'm going to be using the shade Nude Rose. So I'm gonna add a gloss on top of this and I really want you to see the gloss. So I'm going in with a light hand and just very, very lightly lining my lips. And I just filled my lips in the tiniest amount, like went in, kind of went like that, smooshied my lips together and it's the perfect amount because now, I'm gonna go in with one of those Say Lip Glosses. So first I'm gonna go in with Glossy Bounce in Kiss, which is a very, very almost clear shade. It does have a little bit of baby pink to it, but it's, it's almost clear. Like that on its own is enough, right? Like we don't need anything else, but I'm gonna go in with another shade. Because it's fall, going in with that nice latte shade, which is called Push. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. This is correct. I believe in this. What is going on with that shade? Is that not just the most beautiful, like, shiny cocoa lip? Just hitting my face with that powder brush just to get any places where I don't want there to be quite as much shine. I can't get over that blush, guys. That is bananas. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look, and wowie wow, am I so impressed with these products. I don't know that I ever seen a blush shade like this. This is one of the most unique blushes I think I've ever seen. Just gonna go ham, just putting on some more, and obviously with how incredibly glowy this is, we do not need any highlighter, honey. I, I can't get over that. Like, that is just stunning. Okay guys, so that wraps up this trying to make a video. I hope you enjoy this. And don't forget to head down to my description box to check out not only all of the makeup I talked about here today, but those Ana Luisa pieces, including my promo code for 20% off. I'm just so impressed with how all this came together because I really didn't like choose any of this on the basis of shades or anything. They just all played really, really well together. Salt New York Cream Blush and Sparkling Peach, good job. You guys are the best. Please stay safe out there and cheers till next time. Ooh. <sighs>